And today's dinner, we're having beef tongue. Last winter in January, we butchered our two beefy boys here on our homestead. It was an amazing experience. Um, you know, b processing that large of an animal for the first time. I mean, we've learned so much. Honestly, we've never, we've never cooked beef tongue before. Do you remember even having beef tongue ever? No. I think I might have had, had it one time before in my life. Yeah, I might have had it when I was little, but I don't yeah. <laughs> remember. Definitely not homegrown. You know, it was probably bought at the store. I remember my grandpa, maybe I was maybe in junior high, uh, cooked some tongue before, and I remember eating it and not liking it at all because I think it looked like a tongue. The texture of it, uh, the smell of it, hey, I just Cal. was not into it. Hey, Cal. There we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Over the years, what I've noticed is that raising your own meat versus buying it at the store like we used to do, we eat things now that we would not typically eat. I would never go to the, somewhere and look for a pig head to, to cook, but if we raise that pig ourselves, you definitely believe we're gonna eat that pig head. We're looking for 165. Oh yeah, it's like way, it's way done. <laughs> I mean, this is not only just meat. I mean, this is, could be vegetables in your garden. I mean, who buys eggplant? But if you grow it in your garden, you better believe it, I'm gonna try it. I boiled the tongue in here for about an hour. I've got onions, some arbol chilies, oregano, Peppercorn salt. So I boiled it in here for about an hour. So now I'm ready to peel the skin off. So we're not eating the taste buds. <laughs> no. This tongue ate a hundred percent grass. The tongue has been skinned. It doesn't look pretty. I wish that I'm, maybe I didn't, I boiled it for an hour, but maybe I should have boiled it for a little bit longer so that the skin just peels right off, but it didn't. So it doesn't look pretty. It, I used my knife and I just cut off all the skin. So um, we'll maybe have better luck with another tongue. Uh, so now I'm just seasoning it with some um, garlic, salt, and pepper. This is just some homemade taco seasoning and then I'm just going to coat it over the meat. Now that we do this and butcher our own animals, I feel like it makes us want to try things. It makes us want to try to utilize the whole animal if we could because we know the time, money, and effort we put into raising these animals. We see it because we're doing it. And so I think something about when you're doing it for yourself and you're seeing it and you're seeing all the hard work, all the pain, all the, the trials, and the good days and the bad days and you're putting that in your freezer and you're like man i'm I, I want to try to utilize the whole animal it's like with the chickens we save the hearts we save the livers those things we wouldn't typically buy at the store this two-year-old ham that we're about to eat in november that's another thing the beef heart the beef liver we just put in grind and make hamburger patties out of it put it in the ground patties there it is beef tongue Try to use all the parts of the animals if we could.
got the meter thermometer stick it in there probably looking at about four hours we're trying to wait till it gets to an internal 200 degrees I have the smoker at about 250 we'll see how it, how it cooks yeah I am burning tortillas because <laughs> that's, that's all right. I do that's what I do is burn tortillas these are corn masa tortillas, homemade. So I have this tortilla press, which is really handy. And then it just flattens them right out. I get my corn masa from Azure Standard. And it's pretty much just add water. It's really easy. <laughs> and it's organic. Organic corn masa. The tongue, smoke tongue, is done six hours later. Also, beef tenderloin in the smoker. There's a smoke tongue. Beans, rice. All right. Put that out. Wow, that looks really juicy. It doesn't look dry or anything. It's like this nice outer crust and look at the smoke ring. It smells good. Doesn't it smell good? I think we need a sharper knife. Oh, it's so hot. I can it's just like touch meat. It. Yeah. I mean, it just it looks. It's just like a piece of meat. It's, it seems very... Oh, I can't touch it. It seems very tender. Why don't you use a tongue? Because I am left-handed. I don't know how to use it with my right hand. <laughs> that one's not better. You ready to eat some tongue, Penelope? <laughs> Are you going to try it? My dad's visiting. You ready to have try this tongue? This is why we kicked it for you. It's going to be good. <laughs> I told my dad it will save the tongue when he comes down. All right, let's try it. Is it good? Is it tonguey? It's me. I could taste the taste buds. Oh! No. <laughs> oh. It's good. It tastes like beef. It's me. It tastes like meat. It tastes like smoked meat. This might be too over, well overdone. That's this the best part. Piece, the burnt ends. Yeah, see if you can eat I that. Want, I want to eat like, some tongue tips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think... It'd be tricky. I mean, mm -hmm. typically, I think people throw away the tongue. Yeah. All days. Not no more. People save the tongue? No, it's, it's, the tongue is worth... It's worth something. Yeah. But this is grass-fed. Raised in our backyard tongue. Yeah. Yeah. You can't buy this at the store. No. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Try it. How tastes it? like tastes like beef. <laughs> like pot roast or something. Right. Is it good, Penelope? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Right. So we what got is that? this is twined up tenderloin. Let's cut this twine off. I didn't even need to like sear it. This is like really good. Oh yeah, this smells good. I think I added a little bit more seasoning to this one. I think the seasoning, no, I think I added the same seasonings to both. I'll eat that. <laughs> oh. You guys wanna taste this? Sure. This is pork? Beef. Beef okay. tenderloin. I mean, honestly, that tenderloin tastes just like that tongue. Yeah. I mean, they're both smoked. The, I feel like the tongue has a little more richer flavor, like almost yep. like beefier. I don't know if you can get any more beefier than beef, but it's they're both very good. They are from the beefy boys. <laughs> Tortillas here, beans, rice, some onions and tomatoes, lettuce, and some jalapeno, roasted jalapenos. Right. 
tongue tacos, man. Mm-hmm. 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 In the end, raising your own animals does open up your eyes onto different kinds of foods that you wouldn't normally buy at the store. They're not too graphic, but I do show how we butcher these animals. Our two beef cows that we just butchered, I have a video right here that you can check out. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.